Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about kitchen safety. Step one, we're gonna put our hair up or back in a ponytail. We don't wanna set it on fire. I have done this before, only a little bit. Okay, it's a mess, but I'm safe. Next, we're gonna cut up some bacon because we might make some cheesy bacon popcorn. Now, you should always have separate cutting boards, one for cutting up your salad, which stays raw, and one for cutting up your raw meat, which you're gonna cook, and then it'll be safe, but your cutting board is covered with bacteria from your raw meat. You never wanna get your salad on that. Now, I can't be bothered to remember which cutting board is which, so I have a different system I'll share with you. When I'm cutting up meat, like bacon, I use a glass pan and a pair of scissors, and I just hold the bacon in my hand and chop it up into little bits. And then I'm gonna pop them into a pan on my stove and cook them until they're nice and crispy. I'm gonna wash my hands. Very important piece of safety equipment. This is not fancy pear ginger soap. This is just regular dish soap in a bottle that used to have fancy pear ginger soap. So I wash my hands. Important safety step. Now I don't have nasty raw meat bacteria on my hands. And then if I was making my popcorn and I lay it out on a cookie sheet and throw a bunch of cheese on top and then I better go get my bacon, do you see a safety violation on my stove? Why, yes you do. The pot handle is turned right around where I could bump into it when I'm walking over to the sink and just knock bacon all over the floor and hot grease. That would be terrible. So you should always move your handles so that they are to the side. Now it's not really great either because it would be over another burner. Hmm, do you see another safety violation, guys? Why is it appears that I have set the bacon on fire? Now in real life, I have never done that, but I have a plan. First step, I would turn off my stove burners. Second step, I would dump some baking soda on top of my fire. Now I keep my baking soda in this cupboard right here. It's really close to my stove, just in case I need it. I would not put water on my fire. Do you know why? It helps the grease spread out. You have a bigger fire and a bigger problem. My next step would be to put a lid on this pan so that I deprive the fire of oxygen and keep it contained. But my pan doesn't have a lid. But don't worry, I have a backup plan my rusty, trusty pizza plan. Smothered those flames, didn't I? Now, if that didn't work, my next backup plan is my fire extinguisher, which I keep in the cupboard under my sink. But if this fire looked any bigger than the pan and it was spreading all over, I would just grab my kids, my cat, and my phone, and I would run outside and call 911, which is what you should do too. Last thing, if I'm making my cheesy bacon popcorn, I'm gonna heat up my oven to 350 and just pop that pan of deliciousness in there for about five minutes till the cheese is all melty. Mm -mm -mm. Then I grab this piece of safety equipment, which occasionally can become a hazard. If you set it down in a puddle on your messy counter, and I am a messy cook, so this has happened to me, you pick it up and you grab a hot pan, that water turns into steam and burns your little fingers. Don't let that happen to you. Stay safe in the kitchen and I'll see you at the library.